Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. And this video is a quick fix to a problem I got notified in the comment section concerning a video I posted earlier about a MoGraph eye formation, right? So you are using MoGraph to create this. And this is the whole video that explains the whole process, right? But there's an issue where um, the matrix cannot actually recognize the splines in the cloner and sometimes in the connect object, right? So I have created the arc and the null already, right? And I'm using Cinema 4D 2023. I think that's what's actually having the problem. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but yeah, it doesn't work in Cinema 4D 2023. What I did initially was in Cinema 4D um, R26, rather. So I've created the null and the arc already. So let's come in and create our cloner, make the null a child of the cloner and change the mode from grid to um, radial. And let's make the radius minus one something right and increase the count right everything is just um, like the same almost as um, we did initially then i'll come into my object matrix and i'll select the cloner hey i mean the matrix change the mode from grid to object and the object you want to clone on is a cloner and you can see the matrix is cloning our splines right if i come in here and um, the matrix i'll reduce the end angle to like say one right and everything uh, moves along the path right if we hit the rate it moves right but if we give the variation it doesn't give us the variation that we want so that's when we use the connect object now let's create the connect object um and i'll make the cloner child of the connect object and in the matrix instead of the cloner i'll replace it with the connect object and now if i do that you can see if i hit play the connect object does not um the matrices are, are are gone you can't see it so there are two issues like two ways you can fix this problem honestly speaking i don't know why this doesn't work in r20 uh, 40 2023 because i did the same thing in r26 and everything was fine perfect i didn't do anything special so but to fix it this there are two ways so the first way i'm going to show you is we come into our object and you create a spline mask make the connect a child of the spline mask and now you can see our um, splines are recognized. So I can simply come into the matrix and instead of the connect, I can actually use the spline max itself, uh, mask itself. And now if I hit play, you can see it recognized the spline mask, right? So that's one way to fix it. If you want to, it to stay parametric. Another way is that you can simply make the connect object um, an editable object, right? That's um, if you don't want it parametric and you are sure about your splines. And there, other way, which I mean, the person who um, like commented in the comment section actually notified me. Another way that you can actually use to solve this is also the um, uh, if you come into your mode graph, the most spline, right? So instead of using the spline max, if you don't want to, you can simply um, come into your most spline, right? And now drag, for instance, change the mode from simple to spline, and the spline you come into the spline tab the source spline you can simply drag and drop in the connect and you can see the most spline has redrawn all of your splines for you right so with that you can simply let me drag this out you can simply instead of using the connect object uh, in the matrix you can use the most spline, right and that one too um works as well so that's basically the issue but honestly speaking i don't know why this is an issue in Cinema 4D 2023, but in R26, like which I have open here, the same scene, this is R26. And if I put it in the cloner, make it a child of the clone, let's change the um, to radial and we do this one to one something, right? Let's make it as much as the same thing. And now if you come into and put it in a, a create a matrix, change the mode to object, and now put in our cloner, right? It works. In fact, let's put it in the connect for us to see. So I'll come and create the connect object, make it the cloner child connect object, and select the matrix. And now, if I drag and drop it in the um, matrix object, you can see everything will work now. If I make it um, like one, um, let me leave it at ten. And then if I make this one. One. You can see if, at, if the connector I've placed in here, but that the uh, matrix doesn't disappear. Everything is working fine. And if I hit the rate, 
it play it works right at the same time the variation everything works so let's go back to the r20 the quick fix is to use the spline mask to put your connect object under the spline mask and now cinema 4d will now begin notice the spline mask you will see it as a spline or you can use the more spline as an alternative change the mode to from simple to spline and then drag your connect object into the spline tab here the source tab and now you can use this most line as your trade um, object for it to be traced on so this is an issue I, I i saw in the comment section and let me actually give a shout out to um um jack sticks moda who actually did the first complaint and I'm, I don't know, I'm getting the name right, Jaros, um, Slava, I'm, I'm sorry with the name, but he actually went ahead and um, did a video to show me the problem, right? So I had to do a quick fix this morning to put, post it. So I, th I hope anybody, if anybody is having this issue, and this is a quick way, you can actually use our way around it. I don't know if it's a bug from Magson or I don't know why it's not working. But yeah, this, I think this problem helps. And um, thank you for watching and thank you guys for the... Um, notifying me about this problem um, I'll you hear from me soon with mm, interesting stuff and interesting and new tutorials thank you for watching all right bye